Hey, hello everyone. This is Mamta Mond, and today we will learn and solve exercise 9C questions 1 to 15 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio, Proportion, and Unitary Method of Class 6 of Composite Mathematics Textbook. Let's get started and solve some questions. Today we will learn and solve exercise 9C questions 1 to 15 of chapter 9. Chapter name is Ratio and Proportions. And topic is concept of proportion. Let's solve some questions. Now we will solve question number one. <clears throat> Determine if the following are in proportions. First bit is 8, 10, 16, 20. These are the numbers given and we have to check whether these numbers are in proportion or not. We know if the four numbers A, B, C, D are in proportion if A is to B is proportional to C is to D. A, B, C, D are in proportion A is to B is proportional to C is to D. That is A, D is equal to B, C. Product of extreme is pro AD is product of extreme. A and D are extreme terms and B and C are mean term, mean terms. So product of extreme is equal to product of mean. Then the following then the numbers will be in proportion. So product of extreme C is A D that is 8 multiplied by 20 is equal to 160 and product of mean is BC <coughs> 10 multiplied with <coughs> 16 that is 160 so product of extreme is equal to product of mean 160 is equal to 160 so we get both the product of extreme and product of mean are equal so the following proportion following number that is 8 10 16 and 20 are in proportion We get product of extreme is product of mean. One hundred sixty. So the numbers. Eight, ten, sixteen, twenty are in proportion. So eight, ten, sixteen, and twenty are in proportion. Now question number second bit three, four, six, seven. These are the numbers given, and we have to check whether the following numbers are in proportions or not. We know A, B, C, D the four numbers are in proportion if the product of extreme is equal to product of mean. So if product of extreme So product of extreme is AD that is 3 multiplied by 7 is 21 and product of mean is BC that is 4 multiplied with 6 4 multiplied with 6 24 here product of extreme is not equal to product of mean
one of the mean. Your product of extreme is not equal to product of mean that is AD is not equal to BC. So 3 is to 4 is not proportional to 6 is to 7. 3, 4, 6, 7 are not in proportion. Now these numbers 3, 4, 6, 7 are not in proportion. So the numbers 3, 4, 6, 7 are not in proportion. Now third bit 8, 18, 36, 72, 144. These are the numbers given and we have to check whether the following numbers are in proportion or not. If the numbers A, B, C, D are in proportion if A to B is proportional to C to D. A to B is proportional to C to D. Then A, B, C, D are in proportion. So A is to B is 18 divided by 36. 18 is to 36 which is equal to 18 divided by 36 and cancelling 18 and 36 with, with 18. 18 is the common ratio so divide the antecedent 18 with 18 and the consequent 36 with 18. We get 18 divided by 18 is 1 and 36 divided by 18 is 2. 1 is to 2. Now C is to D. C is to D is 72 is to 144 which is equal to 72 divided by 144 and between 72 and 144 72 is the common ratio so divide the antecedent 72 with 72 and the consequent 144 with 72 we get 1 divided by 2 that is 1 is to 2 <laughs> So we get A is to B is 1 is to 2 and C is to D is also 1 is to 2. Both are equal. So A is to B is proportional to C is to D. A is to B is proportional to C is to D because A is to B is equal to C is to D. So 18 is to 36 is proportional to 72 is to 144. Yes, these numbers are in proportion. Yes, 18, 36, 72. 144 are in proportion. So these numbers are in proportions. Now question number fourth bit 5, 7, 40 and 56. These are the numbers given and we have to check whether the following numbers are in proportions or not. 
we know four numbers a b c d are in proportion if a is to b is proportional to c is to d so here a is to b is 5 is to 7 that is 5 divided by 7 and c is to d is 40 is to 56 that is 40 divided by 56 and between 40 and 56 8 is the common ratio so divide the antecedent 40 with 8 and consequent with 8 so 40 divided by 8 is 5 and 56 divided by 8 is 7 5 is to 7 that is 5 is to 7 Now both are equal a is to b is equal to c is to d that is 5 is to 7. Now a is to b is equal to c is to d. This implies a is to b is proportional to c is to d, which is 5 is to 7 is proportional to 40 is to 56. Yes, 5, 7, 40 and 56 are in proportions. Yes, the numbers 5, 7, 40 and 56 are in proportion. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel, then please subscribe my YouTube channel. And if you have any doubts, then please write in comment section and I will reply. Keep learning, keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you. If you like this video then please click the like button and share this. If you have not subscribed my youtube channel then please subscribe my youtube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos. If you have any doubts then please write in comment section and I will reply.